Alright, hello everybody, this is Starman, and welcome to the first chapter of Let's Play the Tesla Effect, The Taylor Path. Yes, uh, I've already played through the good ending of this game, uh, Somewhere I'll Find You, where you beat the odds and manage to find the girl of your dreams, Chelsea Bando, and get a happily ever after with her, but... I want to come back and show the other alternate endings and alternate pathways to Tesla Effect as well, because much like Pandora Directive, there are uh, different endings to this game and different locations that you get when you play through a certain path. Uh, unlike Pandora Directive, it doesn't have much effect the game past a certain point, and I'll probably skip those areas since they'll play out exactly the same as what you saw in uh, my first playthrough of the game. But, uh, first things first, we'll go ahead and start a new profile for Taylor. And even though it won't let me go through the puzzles, except that I can skip through them, uh, we'll go ahead and do casual on this one. It shouldn't change things much for us, but it will make it easier for me when I start playing through all the stuff I'm not going to bother filming, because uh, honestly, the last two explorable areas of the game, the Swamp House and the Tesla Legacy Society, it won't matter at all. So let's go ahead and enjoy the opening movie. Where am I? Is this a dream? Not quite, Murphy. Then you're the... the big P.I. in the sky? That's right, Murphy. But now is not the time for you to be here. There is a vast and malignant evil at work on the Earth, and fate, for some reason that even I cannot fathom, has chosen you to oppose it. But why me? I'm no more thrilled about it than you are. Nevertheless, your fate has been decided. Yep, thank you to the over 7,000 members of the Mutant League whose commitment, support, and contribution of $657,196 convinced the big P.I. in the sky to give Tex another shot to make this. Tex is back. And uh, I should note that if you haven't watched my first playthrough of the game, you might want to go and watch that one first. Because even though I am going to uh, let us go through this big dramatic opening first, you'll appreciate what we're going to go through in this one a little bit more. Plus, I might not be making the same comments on everything. Tex Murphy. I'm a small-time private investigator in the big city of New San Francisco. But my office isn't in the glamour districts. It's in the run-down, mutant part of the city, close to Coit Tower. A place they've been refurbishing for years, but it never seems to improve. Not exactly great for business, but it holds a strange attraction for me. I've cracked some pretty big cases over the years. You may even have heard of me. But I don't do much investigating anymore. These days, I'm known for being a man who gets things done, no matter what the cost. You got a job that pays? I'll do it. No questions asked. I'm a great babysitter. I can't really remember why I became a P.I. Maybe I was drawn to the romance, adventure, and independence it offered. Or maybe because I believed in its code of honor. Or because a I look good in a trench coat. Untarnished, a 
his other sink into a cesspool of lies, corruption, and greed. More like wearing fedoras. No, it's fedoras and trench coats. Totally because I like wearing fedoras and trench coats. set of principles can slowly slip from your grasp. The world has a way of beating you into submission. Circumstances change. The guilty aren't always punished. Temptations become obsessions, and love can be violently taken, leaving it empty and hollow. Each day, innocence fades, and your character weakens. And that's not all at once, but a piece at a time until you can't be put back together again. You finally realize the only way to get ahead in this world is to make sure you're on the winning side and then do anything you can to stay alive. I don't know why I'm so reflective tonight. Maybe I finally crossed the Rubicon, but that's not true either. I passed that sign miles back and didn't even pause to take a picture. Maybe I just feel extra guilty tonight for what I'm about to do. never agreed to do something this despicable. I can't explain why I do this, but maybe Judas would understand. Brings us to day one, a rude awakening, or the seven year ouch. Commotion outside, anyway. Howza, you really got a hit on the head. Remember me, your old pal Huck? Seriously, you look clueless. Uh, who or what are you? Geez, how hard did you hit your head? Well, let me reintroduce myself. I'm your smart Alex, your personal assistant, version 1.5, fashioned three years ago in a factory with truly horrible working conditions. <laughs> you don't want to know. I'm your trusty tech-savvy sidekick, whose primary functions include travel agent, inventory tracking and analysis, investigative advice, case notes, and I'm also a confidant and a best buddy, you gigantic oaf. Remember? Not really. Would you like a tutorial on my usage? And I just noticed that when he's angry, his little light flashes red. Uh, we'll go ahead and skip the tutorial. If you do want to watch the tutorial, go and watch my first video series for this. You have a fax. You have a fax. What on earth is this amount of cash doing in my office? If someone was trying to hire me to do something, it probably wasn't legal. I better put this away until I know exactly why it's here. 
And because we are in regular mode, this all highlights when we run the flashlight across it. You have a fax. Oh boy, a fax. Well, it's another Mike and I camera candy comic, Key Lime Largo. I'll put this. I see my credenza is still keeping dust off. My friend Louie runs the brew and stew, and this is his personal brand of coffee. When things get slow in the when things get slow in the detective business, I've always been able to fall back on my skills as a. It's a note from my old friend Archie Ellis. Apparently, he's out of town doing some research. When he returns, I'll need to ask him about the case we're working on. Well, this happened on my first case. I was in the shootout of my life at the warehouse district. Ah, retro text. I took a bullet, and while I was recovering, I swore I was always going to use my brains before Braun. Yeah, we took several bullets there. Archie Ellis wrote a book? I bet this sells for pennies on eBay. Ah, uh, the Colonel. He was my first real mentor in the PI business, and here he is giving me a helpful tip. Who took that picture? Because apparently you never learned the first rule of a PI. And never, ever betray your friends. Now, friendship goes beyond blood and race and politics. You gotta find out who your friends are, then you hold on to them! I always get the chill of fear down my spine whenever I think of him. Looks like somebody's wiped my computer clean. These are the fedoras I've collected over the years, and I take great care of them. Hey, one of these has a hole in it. How did that happen? Well, trusty sidearm. Been with me since the beginning. You want some of this, huh? Bam, bam! Hey, bam, bam, bam! Bam! Bam, bam! Bam! And you! Hey, hey, Sonny, can you help me out? My girlfriend threw my gun out of the window. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, just pick it up and, uh... Hey, don't, don't point that thing up here. That's not a toy, you know! Oh, my hell. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. Sometimes, I wish I had a talking gumball machine as my wacky sidekick. Blue's always useful. <laughs> P.I. rules are for sissies. I've been able to achieve a certain level of success ignoring all the rules of my business. Whoa, the smell of chocolate bar has been in here for a while. <laughs> chocolate always reminds me of Clint, one of the residents at Chandler Avenue. This isn't a good time for a social call, punk. If I don't get it fixed soon, I'll go insane! <laughs> Dory me for a lot to do! What do you mean, go insane? Seems to me you're already there. How do you get lost before I eat that chocolate colored hat of yours? <laughs> My decoder ring. The resort? Sounds like an upscale condo community. <laughs> definitely not something I'm interested in. Well, definitely not something the guy we used to be would have been interested in. An article on the Russian white movement? Am I truly so bored I'm reading Russian history? It's one of my business cards, but it, <laughs> this looks interesting. Probably Enigma. <laughs> Sounds like the story of my life. Ah, uh, the big Finnish detective by... My camera books are great, but I prefer stories about his crazy nephews, Mike and I Camera. I try to collect all of their candy comics. Yeah, I wish we could totally make that out, but, uh... Oh, man. My Richie Haven's signature guitar signature disappeared. That'll teach me to get an autograph. <laughs> it's my G... Maltese Falcon. I don't remember picking up this little souvenir. Oh, man, this record's broken in two. Well, thankfully, it's easily fixed. Huh? It's a bottle of stupid glue. Oh, man, this record's broken in two. Yeah, I thought I got points for looking at everything in the office, but, uh... Ding, 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 ding! We have a winner! Well, I definitely remember my Gene Autry record. It's my one stability in this crazy world. 
One of my golf partners. Old bogey, we call him. These are my credentials. They don't just give the... These are my credentials. They don't just give... I close my eyes and dream of one. The one What's up with the bed? Looks like it's for a Lothario instead of some hard-working down-on-his-luck P.I. Am I going crazy here? Footrest. Picked it up at a government warehouse sale years back. But I've never had the nerve to open it all the way. Yeah, I remember years ago, I was finishing up the latest Mike and Ike Candy Kids adventure, and I realized I devoured several chapters, and it wasn't agreeing with me. I could feel my stomach churning like a volcano, and I realized I wasn't going to make it to the bathroom. Oh, what the, I'll get you, Miffy, if he's the last thing I do. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of been a sore spot in our relationship ever since. So yeah, we've now got two of Someday, the I hope to collect 20 to collector comics. To place them here. The door to my back storage room is locked. And I certainly don't remember this piece of furniture. Looks like a genuine antique instead of something I normally get at a white elephant sale. All right, well, that's all we can do in here for the moment. So, it wasn't a horrible dream. There are gun shell casings and a shot-out window above the electronic shop. I know I'm involved, but how? I should investigate the area and then find out if anybody else heard the commotion. Chelsea's newsstand is completely abandoned. I need to find out what happened to Chelsea. Okay, now if you watched my first playthrough, uh, I said that the first step to getting on the path to finding Chelsea and winding up with her at the end of the game was that you had to ask about Chelsea at every opportunity. Chelsea's newsstand is completely abandoned. I need to find out what happened to Chelsea. Archie helped me out on my Pandora directive case where we met a charming fellow. Ah, now that one Jackson does give us Cross. points. I'm gonna do you the favor of a lifetime. I'm gonna let you walk. But if I catch you meddling in NSA affairs one more time, I'm gonna put a bullet right in your eyeball. Is that clear? Get this puke head out of my office. I'll be watching you, Murphy. Man, I thought this would have ended up in the Andes Mountains. It's a three cards to midnight shop. Closed. Yeah, this building's been a lemon for anyone who's tried to open a business here. All right, I will uh, do the exploration of all of the random things that can give us points on Chandler Avenue off camera. That's an empty vial. Lead pipes are always magically drawn to my skull like moths to the flame. All right, well, here's something. This photo was taken from the top floor of the electronics shop. Who's over there spying on me? Where is he? He's up at the window. I think we got him. Someone was shooting from the top of the electronic shop. Uh, he's injected himself. I don't care. Drag him into the speeder. I think someone was getting abducted. And their shoes got taken. Where is he shooting from? Look, look, look. The top window. I just shut out her headlight. Speeder headlights coming down the alleyway. It's the Wardenclyffe Tower. The Nikola Tesla and motor oil, the secret ingredient to Louis. Well, looks like the dumpster escaped unscathed. Hmm, nice graffiti art. I'm no detective, but you need to find a way to get up to the second floor of the electronics shop. You know, like a ladder. Now, the items we found. Whoa, it's a picture of me at my office. Someone's been spying on me from the top floor of the electronics shop. It's the Wardenclyffe Tower, a Nikola Tesla invention. I have the strangest feeling this is related to a case I was working on. All right.
right, well, with no other clues and there, nothing like open... Louis at the Bruin Stew is preparing to open up shop. You should go talk to him. Maybe he heard something. Yeah, they really do walk you through the early stage in this one, which uh, I suppose is nice for the newbies and the people who are just coming into the series for the first time. But yes, this is where our first step on whatever pathway we take is. And it's not the conversation with Taylor, oddly enough, uh, who we're about to meet. She's Louie's niece. But it is the conversation with Louie that is going to shape our destiny. So, I'm going to play this a little bit differently than I did last time, because last time I tried playing it honestly confused as Tex would be. This time we're going to play along with Taylor. I'm here to see my pal Louie, but I see a pretty brunette at the counter. I have the feeling she recognizes me, but I have no idea who she is. Well, hello, stranger. Confused, pinch me straight to the case. Pinch me. This totally feels like a dream. That has got to be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Just for that, I'm going to get you some coffee. Metaphor less helpful, Hank, my way. Yeah, that'd be great. I think it'd be Armageddon bland, but just a titch of. I know how you like it. Like your women. Full of liquor. Curious metaphor, the real me somewhat reluctant. Real me. Whoa. A little early for that. Really? The way you hold your liquor, I just assumed you always got an early start. Dr. Jekyll or alcohol's magical effect or give me more. Oh, let's go for more. Actually, I could use some pain killing, you know, up around this general area. Is that blood? Ow! Oh, hush. Ah. We don't pick in fights again. <sighs> Little fantasy, cautious first step, stranger danger. Oh, let's go for fantasy. Uh, I don't know what happened, but... You'd look pretty incredible in a nurse's outfit. Mm, you do, huh? You in the mood for a little role-playing? Who do you think you are? Mr. Tall, Blonde, and Bloody. Turn tables, little white lies, stranger danger. Well, I'm Tex Murphy. I'm a private investigator. I... 39-ish, and I uh, live at the Ritz Hotel. No, 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 no. Let me show you how to do it. I'm Taylor, and I'll be your nurse. I recommend two aspirin and lots and lots of bed rest. Maybe all afternoon long. Deja vu or not, some work, some play. I have to investigate these gunshots, but maybe if I were to do it really quick. Oh, I have to go into work today, unfortunately. But maybe I have to work tomorrow. Oh, geez, I'm late. I got a new extension at work. I'll send it to your smart Alex. Please, go see Dr. Donahue at the North Hill Clinic. Call me after and tell me what she says about that noggin of yours. See you, Uncle Louie. Uh, see you, Taylor. Ah. Uh. Mr. Murphy, what are you doing here? Shock and owl, buddy speak. Her? Hey, tell me who that woman was who just left here, and why does she act like she knows me? Why you gotta be like that? You know Taylor a little too well, you ask me. You drunk again? I told you, you ain't allowed in here, you've been drinking. Clear as a bathroom mirror, hungover maybe, acid trip. Well, I don't feel drunk. Just, my brain's a little foggy. What happened to your head? I don't know. I woke up on the fire escape. 
I go into my apartment and everything is different. The street, Chelsea's newsstand, you, everything is completely different. I mean, I don't know whether I'm tripping here or having a bad dream or something. What's the last thing you remember uh, before you woke up? Uh, I don't know, but something with Chelsea. Chelsea? What day do you think it is? No, hold on. What year do you think it is? <sighs> what year? Are you serious? It's 2043. Oh, jeez. Look at that calendar. Over there? On the fridge? Hey, Lucy Love from Pandora Directive. What the hell's going on here? Last night, Chelsea and I went to the Golden Pagoda. I think the wording was uh, very, very attractive. Oh, no! What? It's me. Look, somebody has stolen our car. I mean, here I am, my speeder's stolen out here. I'm sitting on a great... Oi! Uh, would you guys like a lift to the cop shop? No, we'll walk. He's really just trying to do us a favor. Chelsea, I am getting a really bad feeling about this. It's like some sort of deja vu. <laughs> and yeah, we remember this from uh, Overseer. Who's your mate? Oh, that's Tex. He's having a very bad day. That true, Tex? Oh, no. Everything's just going peachy. Well, things could get worse. Huh? He shot me. He, he shot both of us. He... Shot me. There's nothing. Why isn't there anything? That's what I'm trying to tell you, Mike. It wasn't last night. It was seven years ago. What? What the hell is that? Looks like you got injected with something. Maybe that's what's messing with your head. Or maybe it's that goose egg. Either way, buddy, you gotta see a doctor. Okay, so yeah, here's where we say, what happened to Chelsea? Norfield Clinic, or is this a coincidence? Let's go with Clinic, because Taylor said we should do that. Your niece, Taylor, she said something about a, a doctor at the North Hill Clinic? Ah, Kate Donahue. She's a friend of Taylor's. She's real good. I bet she could fix you up. Relationship with Taylor, investigate head trauma, criminally connected. So, what about this woman, Taylor? I mean, she seems to know me pretty well. <sighs> that ain't none of my business, Mike. I never thought you was the right guy for her. But two adults can do what they want to do. Muff, you really need to see a doctor. You can't be driving in this condition. Tell you what, I'll call you a cab. I'll have them wait till you're ready to go. And go ahead and ask our questions. It sure is good to have the old mice back. I don't want to get all mushy, but I missed you, mice. We don't get too much of that stuff around here anymore. Cops have been good about cleaning things up. I got no idea who would have been doing the shooting. Or getting taken. Uh, Cliff's done a real nice job, don't you think? Uh, good to see the neighborhood getting fixed up. Clint the bum? Okay, that's confusing. I don't got a ladder. Uh, you might want to check at the Golden Gate Hotel. They've been doing a bunch of renovations. I, I like that Archie fella. Real friendly don't always understand what he's talking about, but hey, different strokes for different folks, right? Yeah, nice to have some fresh blood here on Chandler Avenue. Not really the kind of place I do a lot of shopping at, but uh, some folks seem to like it fine. Yeah, typical Louie. If he can't say something nice, he will not say anything. You know... I love Chelsea like she was my own daughter. I still miss her, even after all this time. I forget. 
You don't remember nothing about Taylor. She works for the Bay City Mirror, does a lot of investigations, and she's a real peach. Sweet, smart, funny. Yeah, I wasn't too happy that you and her were spending time together, but maybe she was seeing through all that tough guy stuff. She's good that way. Oh, me? I'm just the same as always. Just a little less of me than I used to be. I wish I could tell you everything you can't remember. But I don't know much. You and Chelsea went missing, and then you showed up out of nowhere a few weeks later. A couple of days after, you was gone again. I only saw you a few times after that. A couple of years went by, and then you came back, and something bad had happened to you. I don't know what, but it made you hard and mean, and you just got worse. You got to where I didn't even want you around anymore. And you know what it takes to make Louie not like you. I can't go to the North Hill Clinic. Not now. I need to investigate the crime scene to find out what happened before the police arrive. All right, and that is where we will pick things up next time. We will see you then.